Security. Safin Aching Oma, Citizen TV. President William Ruto is expected to table his proposals on the position and office of the official opposition leader before the National Assembly on Thursday, kickstarting a conversation that could see the position anchored in law. Already, a proposal floated by a section of Azimio leaders has been brought forward. However, a substantive bill has yet to be tabled on the floor of the House. Now, during a Kenya Kwanzaa parliamentary group meeting, President William Ruto urged MPs to rally behind the proposal, which would make the minority more effective in keeping the government in check. Chemutai Goin now reports. <laughs> With a push to entrench the office of the leader of opposition in law now getting the all crucial backing from President William Ruto, who will Thursday unveil his plan before the August House, questions abound as to whether the intentions were pure and if it was a scheme to muzzle the opposition as it were. I remember President Mwaiki back at one point was the leader of official opposition. President Uru Kenyatta was a very ineffective leader of official opposition. And uh, uh, then look at what happened there and what happened with the handshake. Uh, and if you're talking about muzzling and being cheeky, the cheekiness and muzzling of the opposition came with the handshake. To have an accountable system in a democracy, then you need a strong opposition. A opposition that is formal, an opposition that is well resourced, an opposition that has avenues to reach government and also engage in the national dialogue. With the party or coalition of parties with the second highest votes automatically taking up the position, there are provisions that the party can nominate a representative. Azimio in its proposal wants the leader of opposition be allowed to address parliament annually. The tabling of the president's proposal expected to open an avenue for possible negotiations with Ward Rife that a joint bill generated is likely to be sponsored by lead of majority Kimani Shongwa. The president has not had a sitting with the uh, minority side to agree on a proposal. He has his own proposal and it were his thoughts as early as February. Probably the opposition has borrowed from what the president said at Chatham House and now uh, proposed to have their own proposal, which we have not seen. The Kenya Kwanzaa team, which is rallying behind the president's call, says an emboldened opposition would be more effective in policing the government and ensuring it delivers on its mandate. This thing of imagining that official opposition leader is a preserve of Raila Odinga should stop. He can also be president someday, maybe in 2037. Who knows? So why would we assume that it's Raila Odinga that these laws are made for? So uh, it, is, it is not for Raila because we do not know the opposition leader for 2027. If it comes, it does not necessarily even mean that the person who shall be practicing this or exercising the powers of the opposition is necessarily the person who vied in, uh, in the previous election as the president. It could be within the office, it could be within the office then they nominate someone, it could be Kalonzo. In one of the proposals, the official opposition leader will have immunity from persecution, will be funded by the exchequer and will also be allowed to mobilize funding from donors to meet its obligations. The proposal now is not to make the opposition part of government is to make sure that you have an effective and an effective opposition that can check on government. They are able to investigate various things, so it's just empowering uh, the opposition. And I think, as I said, putting the right foundations that were over overlooked in the past for the greater future of our country. The proposals of the emerging bills say their actions will anchor the office in the constitution, clearly define their roles and mandates, and facilitate accountability for all the public resources utilized. Chamutai Goin Citizen 